you see my, you hear my leg fat clamping together. Woo! Hey homies, welcome back to my channel. On this week's episode, we're going to do a five minute wedding guest upstyle. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and please keep watching. Hey homies, for the style, you wanna start by curling your hair. As long as there's some sort of shape in there, you got this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is section my hair in the back and do a little bit of back combing so that when we pin it, there's something like for the pins to hold on to or whatever. Hopefully you can see, I'm just taking a section here because when I wrap my hair up, I'm gonna be pinning like right around here. And I would suggest doing this part, again, it's not necessary, but I'd suggest doing it if you suck at pinning your hair. you to meet my two best friends wine and vape <laughs> in order for this style to hold use some product i have a texturizing spray you can do the style without product but if you're not good at pinning it might not hold as well my dog's chewing on a pig ear she's so loud i got two dogs now section out your front pieces you don't need to clip them out of the way we want this look to be undone not perfect, so I'm just taking a few little pieces that I want to be falling out and pushing the rest back into my hand. Do the same on the other side. Make sure these front bits are as even as possible. And I'm just taking my two fingers and just kind of pulling. Usually my rule of thumb is to have this and then a little in front of the ear and a little at the nape. And remember, push it below your crown. I'll show you guys when I turn around. Oh my God, and blues outside freaking moaning like a crazy man. You're also gonna need a whack load of body pins, so have those at the ready, guys. Yeah. If you like it more textured, just kind of pull it out like so. So instead of ha having this section pulled to the middle like this, pull it off to the left a little bit, like that. And now what we're gonna do is hold this hair like this, take your hand like that, down like that, grab it, and twist it. And that's all it is. So make sure you like the way it looks before you pin it. You could check in a mirror, whatever. I'm gonna, I like pulling this down a little bit so it's not too chunky here. Hold on to it and then start pinning. Don't open your pins, just go down, out and in. Make sure you crisscross those body pins so they hold on real well. Down, out and in. And I'm going all along the length of this. Down, out, and in. Make sure you use body pins that are similar to your hair color. Yeah, dog. Okay, Meadow, stop being so loud, bro. Down, out, and in. Ooh, okay, that feels secure, but just for some extra insurance, I'm going to do a couple more. Don't put all the body pins in one spot. Make sure you spread them out, because if they're all like right here, It'll actually weigh down the bobby pins and sag your style. Okay guys, I feel like I suck at this freaking filming thing and no matter what I do, the top of my head gets cut off. So, sorry about that last clip. So before we do anything else, have a look at the back of your hair in a mirror, make sure you like it. If not, redo it, dog. Y'all know I have to multiple times. Oh, okay. Been on a wine kick lately, baby. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I need my nectar of the gods. This is what she's gonna look like from the front. I just checked out the back, make sure I was happy with it. There is a little piece of fluff that I'm gonna show you how to fix. Make sure when you're fixing these random little pit bleh, bits that you're not like pulling too much because you'll pull the whole style out and have to redo it. Not that it takes that long, but you know. So I'm gonna grab some hairspray and show you guys what's up. Okay, well I'm just holding this shit down and spraying it. If anything feels loose at this point, make sure to pin it because if it feels loose, she about to fall out. I have my iron going. I'm gonna touch up these curls that I decide to leave out. I'm gonna wrap it like it's a wand. A wand, wand. Trick with these kind of hairstyles, effortless is how I like to describe it. You wanna look like it, you tried, but you didn't try that hard. Hey, uh, you know what? Like my hair's up, but I just naturally look this sexy. Everybody's upstyle is gonna look a lot different. I did this on a client recently and hers looked freaking bomb. Do you guys hear that? It sounds like horny man. It's blue. Oh my God. Come on dog. Jeez. I also like to tuck a couple behind my ear like that. Bada bing bada boom. And now we're feeling like Taylor Swift in the All Too Well music video. Mm. Once you travel the world. 
world, all the spaces inside. Okay, give it one last hairspray all over. Don't go outside until you have to, and don't touch your hair, otherwise you're going to encourage it to fall out. And if you want a little extra bavoom in the face framers, use your texturizing spray. Spray a little bit in the root area. This is Design Me, Puff Me, it's called. And so I just sprayed a little bit of that. This stuff's really good actually, and I smell very pretty like a girl. And I'm just back combing like that. Just imagine I left it like that. <laughs> No, take the edge of your comb, smooth it out. A lot of hair, it's just about shaping when you're styling your hair. So I'm gonna hold it. It's not pulling out that back combing and I'm gonna shape it around my face. There we go. I'm gonna tuck a little behind my ear because it gives it more of that effortless look, baby. Woo. Anyways, that's the finish. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that's the finish look, guys. Let me know what you're thinking. If you're still watching at this point and you're digging my content, please subscribe. You're really helping me out. And if you have any requests, drop them in the comment box below. I'll see you next week. Bye.